So my topic today is gun violence. And something that I think you all should know is that communities with a lot of gun violence also tends to have a lot of poverty and a lot of people of color who live in those communities. And while mass shootings are usually happen in higher income communities, daily shootings that affect, that affect maybe one to two person per instance happen in these communities. And a lot of violence doesn't just come from the people in these communities, but the police and the over-policing those communities as well. And with that in mind, I'd like to direct you all to this whiteboard. If you guys could, I would like you to describe first a community with gun violence and then describe a community without gun violence. Now this is completely hypothetical, right? You don't need to Google this or find adjectives online. I just want you to put in your own words, a few words, how you would describe these two communities. You got in a community without gun violence, we see words such as higher paying jobs, less death, safer, more community connection, safe community spaces, community policies, and community polices one another, community conversations, hospitals, grocery stores, nice parks, and outdoor activities for children and adults. While, when, while on the side of the community with gun violence, we have words such as lower income, single parent household, unhoused people, over policing, voter oppression, diversity, underrepresented, no faith in the system, we're feeling like it could change, payday loans, more danger to alcohol, more drugs or alcohol, more drugs and alcohol to excess, uh, fear, children are kept indoors, lack of outdoor activities for both youth and adults, along with no safe parks, trauma, and short, short. shorter life expectancy. Um, unfortunately, um, like most things in our universe, uh, a lot of these issues do stem back to money. Uh, and that's what this next section is going to be covering. Um, next slide, Jaded. Uh, I have a quick little informative video for you guys. Uh, it does go kind of quickly. Some of the terms that are mentioned are defined in the video because it is supposed to still be accessible and put into um, simple words for people of all ages and educational backgrounds. But uh, if anything goes by too quickly, feel free. All the things that we're going to be um, discussing is still going to be on the glossary right in front of you. So All right, y'all. So I'm Max. And today, I divided everything into five main categories, which are gun violence, redlining, mental health, standardized testing, and the way public schools are funded, and financial barriers in universities and public schools. 